Hello everyone, this is Pakshita Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. I also want to remind you that some of my video courses are already available. Buy them if you haven't done it yet. Today I'd like to give you a review of my new linen dress. It's perfect for the summer. The dress is lined with cambric. First I wanted to have a close look at the dress while I'm wearing it. And then I'll take it off and put it on the table to show you the wrong side of it. My course on how to sew a linen dress is available. In the course I show you all the needed sewing techniques in detail. The difference is in pockets. I have flat pockets here, and in the course we show you how to make patch pockets. What is special about this dress? It's made of high quality Italian linen fabric. I love the print. You can see some other linen fabrics here, they are also very beautiful. You can use a single colored or multicolored fabric. You can choose different beautiful prints. Use your imagination. The fabric is very soft to the touch. I love it. The dress is sleeveless. You can make sleeves if you want to. The neckline is round. There is a vertical placket on the front. It is decorated with a cotton lace. The decoration makes the dress look even more gentle. Have a close look at the dress. The skirt is slightly gathered in the center front and the center back. There is no gather in the sides. This is how the dress looks like on the back. There are waist tags here. The skirt is flared. There are two pockets in it. The dress is appropriate both for work and for going for a walk. It's very comfortable. I love the dress. I'm sure that I'm going to wear it a lot. What I want to tell you today is that it's not necessary to make a dress of a complicated design for it to look beautiful and interesting. The beauty is in simplicity. If you can make a simple garment look beautiful, you'll be so happy with yourselves. This is the best thing to do. This is why I've decided to give you a review of this simple dress. With a close fitting bodice and a long flared skirt. The placket is decorated with lace. The dress is lined with cambric. There are two pockets in the dress. I've already shown you a lot of types of pockets. Be very attentive. Notice that these are not inseam pockets, but I think that these ones also look pretty good. What do you think? The pocket should be big and comfortable. If you, for example, are making a dress to take it on a vacation, the pocket should be big enough for you to be able to put the keys from your room in it. Think about such things in advance. Some people think that only smart garments, for example evening dresses, should be decorated with lace. In fact, cotton and linen lace is very nice for light dresses. There is a great variety of cotton and linen lace and it's very good for decoration. Such decoration is simple and beautiful at the same time. Showing you this dress, I would also like to prove that flare skirts don't make us look fat. They make you look slim. Do you know how Dior created the visibility of tiny waist? He made large bodies and large skirt. As a result, the waist seemed smaller than it actually was. Such techniques are pretty useful. I know that all of us want to look slimmer than we really are. 
Don't be afraid of lace skirts. I have a long short dress. The white one. I've already shown it to you. I love it. I wear it with the waistband, and it makes me look slim. I hope that this dress will also become one of my favorites. I'm sure that it will. Have a close look at the dress. The blanket is decorated with lace. The buttons are also very beautiful. They suit well to the print on fabric and to the lace. Have a close look at the buttons. Their color is very interesting. They are not even seen in this fabric. The main fabric, the lace and the buttons look amazing together. Notice that the lace is slightly gathered on the neckline. It looks like a collar. The pockets are big and comfortable. As I've already said, the dress is lined with cambric. Have a close look at the bottom. According to the rules, the seam of the overcast is overlapped with the lining. If the lining is shorter, it wouldn't look good. It should always cover the overcast edge. This is a must. The neckline and the armholes were edged with a bias binding. We've attached it by hands. However, I think that it could be stitched with a sewing machine as well. You can attach it however you want. Sewing by hands requires some hard work. The width of the shoulders is 5.5 cm. You know that I like tight shoulders. This is not a sundress, it's a dress. What about the chest darts? It goes to the side seam and the waist tuck goes to the waist seam. The bodice of the dress was made according to the 10 measurement cutting system. I hope that you already know how to make such necklines, darts and other details. I've already shown you a lot of videos on working with the basic patterns. My basic pattern is made on the basis of the 10 measurement cutting system. The course of the 10 measurement cutting system is available. Buy it if you haven't done it yet. Having bought the course, you'll be able to make a perfect basic pattern according to your own measurements. What I want you to understand is that you shouldn't be afraid of flared skirts and frills. Do not think that the more close-fitting a garment is, the slimmer you look like wearing it. It's wrong. Please, get ready to new seasons in advance. I don't like sewing in a hurry, and I don't recommend you doing it either. I hope that you find our lessons useful, and they help you improve your sewing skills. This is what I'm here for. I want you to be able to sew and wear anything you want. That's all for today. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Buy my courses, subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press like and the bell buttons. I would really appreciate your support. Thank you. Goodbye.